welcome back to my wonderful channel, Built Not Bought Campers. Before we start today's video, I just want to start out by saying thank you to all my subscribers, all your comments, and especially we've got tons of new subscribers. Now, a lot have migrated over from Luke's van life, thank you Luke, but there's loads and loads of people watching my videos but not subscribing. Please, please subscribe. It motivates me to create this stuff, believe me, it really does. And seeing all your comments are amazing, absolutely amazing. So, I'm so happy, honestly, I really am. And I'm so, so pleased people are enjoying the content. So, back to today's video. Once again, thank you. I've got to say it, thank you, I'm so chuffed. Back to today's video. Right, today, we're gonna to be working on the big bus. I think you might remember in one of my last videos, we found three rust holes. So what we're gonna be doing today is cutting the metal and hopefully getting it all welded in today. If it's not too cold, that is. Again, I'm wearing two hoodies. But again, you lot motivate me. Trust me, you've done a wonderful job because believe me, when it's cold like this, I'll be home tucked up in bed. Oof. Well, anyway, less of that and let's get on with today's video. Right, just to recap, we're going to be cutting out that hole and cutting away the rust. We're going to cut away that rust. And finally, cutting away that metal and replacing that with all, all new metal as well. So yeah, they're the three spots we're going to be concentrating on today. So stay tuned, stay with me, and let's have some fun. the plates are in I've got a little bit of the welding on camera I think but everybody's a critic when it comes to welding I really don't know why it seems to be that more than anything but um, I'll show you the finished product it's not pretty but it serves purpose does the job um, once we do the um, rust converting inside give it a coat over with red oxide and then spray all those bits and pieces it'll protect it 
So let's have a look. So there you go. <clears throat> I found a second one over that side needed doing. And there's that one over that side. And there you go. It's the last plate. So there you have it. All the plates have been welded in place. Two have been butt welded, two have been plated over the rust. Um, <clears throat> the rust was got rid of first, of course. And all we need to do now is clear everything out of here, give it a clean up, do all the rust converter on anything that's showing signs of rust, then give it a good going over the red oxide, and the, all the white panels here are going to be sprayed with white hammerite as well. So I can have double protection. Uh, once that's done, we can start putting in the floor and putting in the insulation in the floor. I have a little project for the front. I'm going to show you this, what I intend to do at the front of the bus. And again, I'd like to know what people think of this. Right, so as you know, with these buses, there's a driver's seat, but there's no passenger seat. Now, crafters normally have a passenger seat. So my intentions is to build a frame across here out of box section, use underneath for the storage, and put in a passenger seat. That's my idea, that's my plan. Um, <clears throat> the actual logistics and plan, the actual design of it, I haven't worked that out just yet. If I start it, just behind where the driver's seat is, come across here, you're still going to have all this space here to get in and out the bus. And there'll be a storage, maybe storage drawer under the seat there. And there will be two seats in the back with seat belts as well. So again, that's my plan for the front of the bus. Leave in the comments below what you think of that idea. What you think I'm mad? And what your opinion is of it really. Just to give you an idea, I'm using two new front seats anyway, or I'm replacing, replacing the driver's seat, and these seats do have integrated seat belt points. So I don't have to worry about the seat belt trying to be mounted to here or anywhere like that. It, they have their own seat belts integrated, um, like a lot of the convertible cars do. And in fact, these seats did come out of a convertible car. I've got two for the front, and I've also got two matching ones for the back as well. So. It's all going to look pretty much the same. So anyway, I'd love to know your opinions on that. Leave the comments below. And like I said at the beginning of the video, thank you for all your comments. Thank you for subscribing. And please, please, please hit the notification bell. Hit the thumbs up. Let You know, I, I like to know what you think. You know, at the end of the day, if it's bad, it's bad. You know, I'm sorry. And I try and do better. And I, I do what I can. But I just want to make some interesting videos for everybody else to watch and interesting projects and you know we've got enough on the go here and i some somehow have a feeling that it won't be long before i end up with another one as well i'll have plenty to keep me busy plenty to keep you entertained i hope so anyway on that note i'm going to say bye for now it's still freezing and i'm just about to go and have a cup of tea and some toast well earned cup of tea and toast at that so for now i'm going to say Goodbye, stay safe, and stay warm, please, stay warm. Bye for now. <laughs>